Last time the USA won the Ryder Cup, back in 2008, one of its stars was that memorable character Boo Weekly. A real crowd pleaser, his recent form isn't quite so hot. He's won only once in the eight years since, but as the countdown to Hazel Tyne in September continues, in what you might call her weekly chat, Anna Whiteley's been chatting Ryder Cup with Boo. Eight is your first Masters. Now, you didn't even know when the Masters uh, was, right? You were planning your schedule. Tell me about your schedule, and then all of a sudden... Well, what I do is I just... My schedule starts out is I just go ahead and sign up for everything. Right. I mean, every tournament. Right. And then when I don't want to play, I'll just... Two weeks before I don't want to play, I'll just call them and say, hey, look, I ain't coming. When you kind of get tired or something? Or, yeah. yeah. When my body gets wore down right. a little bit, I just right. say, I'm done. I don't want to play the next two weeks. And right. I'll go home for two weeks, and then I'll come back out and okay. play until I get tired again. I do it again. Right, so you were planning to play through Houston and then take uh, the next week off? Next, next two weeks off, yeah. And then you realize... Then I realize it's <laughs> the Masters. <laughs> you told me one time that I get lost every week at every tournament. Does that still happen? Uh, no, I got a, I got what they call a tom-tom now. Is that like a GPS? Yes, it's, it's like a little gremlin or whatever the little things. I got a, Her name's Sheila. <laughs> oh, she talks to... One and of she those, tells me... And she says, go down here and make a ride? Yes, sir. So I, I, I just plug it in. That's, I tap in the coordinates to where I'm heading, and I just... That's got to be the greatest thing me. ever for you. It is. It is indeed. I ain't been lost yet, not one time this year. You some of the guys out here about uh, sports psychologists, and it's not... I mean, some of them told me, like, 75% of you guys are seeing... No. No? You know I've don't think seen, it's that high? I've seen one guy one time, and then I don't use him, though. Really? So it I didn't work wanted, for you, huh? Yeah, I just wanted... I mean... 12 pack of beer works. <laughs> I mean, they can't what? tell you nothing that you already know. And I mean, you know, and the whole key is to me is that how do they know what you fear? You know, what, how do you know what you're going through? Exactly. I mean, you know, they, they haven't been in your shoes. They haven't, they don't, they ain't out here playing, you know, professional golf and dealing with all the stuff that's going on. So it, I just don't, I don't yeah. get it. It is, I mean, it is a really a roller coaster ride out here. I mean, oh, it, yeah. week to week it. and day to day. Um, so I'm, but. That works for some guys, but obviously you've, you've found other ways to cope with it. Huh? Just have a 12-pack of beer. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got to drink all of them, but just say you had a 12-pack. <laughs> I suppose you know as you're playing 18 what birdie there does for you, right? Had somebody told you what 63 would have meant and all that since it had just been shot yesterday? No, I didn't know. Lowest score, would have matched the lowest score ever in a major championship? Really? 63? That would have been nice. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? You had no idea. We just trying to make par. <laughs> and then you try to make par, look what I ended up. <laughs> what do you know about the FedEx Cup, and are you looking forward to that? And, you know, I don't know nothing about the FedEx Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I just know I'm playing golf, and that's all that matters to me. You'll be playing in the Fed, those tournaments, right, the FedEx Cup stuff? Yes, sir, I hope but, so. But you don't know much about the... the this, the formula or anything? No, sir. You're just I gonna... never was good at math. <laughs> <laughs> Have you any ambitions to play in the Ryder Cup next year? And do you know a lot about that? Have you followed it in the past? Uh, I, if they invite me to come play, I'll come play. But uh, no, I really don't know a whole lot about it. I mean, I've I've seen some clips of it. You know, where you know, I think was it Justin Leonard made a putt or something. You know, that's about the only thing I remember of the Ryder Cup stuff. I just want to play for about 10 years, 12 years, whatever it takes to get me enough money in my bank. I'm done. I mean, I, I love the game. I just don't, I get tired of the grind. I get tired of being away from my family. I get tired of being away from my friends. You know, and my my heart is really set on golf. I mean, uh, and I love to play the game, but my heart is really with hunting and fishing. There's the mental, the physical game and then the mental game, boo. And, you know, some guys like to use sports psychologists. Is that something you would ever do, use a sports psychologist? I tried it a few times, and then I realized that, you know, every time you pass by a gas station down here where we live at, they got your sports psychologist sitting in there. All you got to do is go in and get a 12-pack of them <laughs> or a six-pack or whatever suits you. Whatever. How long, however long you think you need to sit and talk with them? There it is. Boo yeah, right Now, the pants I got on are probably the most expensive thing I've ever owned, probably, as a pair <laughs> of pants went. I mean, these things here, they felt like a pair of silk underwear when you're getting ready to go hunting. I mean, they're unreal. One of them. God dang, I hit up on the hill. Well, there's one out here, too. This would be good for a two-tank look. I could use it. Put it on my head. It's good. 
<laughs> it's perfect. See, this is what I have to do all That's day. That's a beaver tail. And then the golf, you know, it's it's a little different. I mean, it, I, if it was up to me, I'd much rather hunt and fish. But you know, the golf is where I make my living at. So. <laughs> What about here at the Puerto Rico Open here at Trump International? What do you think so far? I like it. So yeah. far, I've just got through playing nine, and, you know, i got to play in the Pro-Am tomorrow and get to meet some new guys and, you know, hope that it, that, that'll turn out pretty well. And, you know, I know the golf course is in good shape. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing that Trump put his hand on that wasn't good. So, uh, you know the Wells Fargo has started this new initiative to really make a push for social media. We have the social media hub. We have a lot of things going on this week. I know you're, you're on Twitter, I don't, right? I don't do that. Do you have a fake Twitter account? Uh-uh, I don't. I don't. My wife does it. I don't do it. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't do. I don't do none of that stuff. All right. Well, this is perfect. So tell us why you don't use social media, and do you ever find yourself even like maybe interested in using it? No, I don't find myself interested in looking for it. I don't want to get in trouble. I get. I mean, I might say something the wrong thing. You know, being jokefully, it might say the wrong thing. You know, and next thing you know, it gets blown out of proportion. You know, I don't want that. <laughs> Because I mean, I like to joke a lot, you know, and I might say some things that you know that people don't like, and I don't, you know, I don't want, I don't want that on me. All right, so Boo Weekly, you, you're not going to see him on Twitter anytime soon. <laughs>